Hello everyone, this is my 1987 S10. It's been in my family for since, uh, let's say, 96. My grandpa bought it, then he gave it to my dad, and then my dad ran it for 30,000 miles, and then it stopped running. Uh, so he parked it for five years. So anyways, it wasn't running because the ECM-1 fuse in there wasn't pushed in all the way. So I figured that out about three weeks later. Um, and then it started right up. Um, it had a massive rod knock and it had a uh, leaking, uh, what are those called, freeze plugs. So pulled the engine, put new rod bearings in it, new freeze plugs, dropped it back in, and it still didn't run the best. So I did a lot of work under the hood and in the interior tube, I'll get to that later. Pretty much when it wasn't running well, I uh, went through the wiring and everything, and I kind of messed up the dash. Hold on, let me just get this real quick. So, I knew it was a wiring issue when it didn't start for the first time. So I like tore up the dash, and I went through the, um, the computer, made sure all the diodes were, weren't corroded and whatnot. But, um, everything was good. And I finally figured out that stupid fuse, and it started right up, and then back to where I am now, the rod knock. Um, fixed that, fixed the leaking uh, freeze plugs, dropped it in, ran pretty good, but it wasn't perfect. So I had a bunch of um, vacuum leaks all over the place, so I pretty much fixed all those. Uh, has a new distributor cap, new distributor rotor, um, new uh, temp gauge, new, I forget what this is called, um, of course got a new uh, air filter in there and a map sensor and then this block was leaking too so I fixed that it's got all new brakes all around and since I got this truck for free I was like ah, I just put the money in it and it only has a hundred and twenty eight thousand miles I'll get in the truck and we'll figure it out <laughs> um, so I drove it for three months and it was hesitating and then it died also <laughs> So I had to replace the alternator and I replaced the battery and all the cables too. So the battery that goes to the starter, the cable anyways, and I replaced the ground cable too. And uh, I replaced the gaskets on the valve covers too when I had the motor out. And that fixed all the leaking, um, but it still wasn't running right. It would hesitate like I was stating before. So I replaced the EGR, didn't fix it. Air radical control, didn't fix it. TPS, didn't fix it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to unplug that EGR valve, and sure enough, it ran great after that. Um, so now I know I need the EGR solenoid, which I have another one in the truck, because I just have the, um, the EGR unplugged right now, and it runs great like that. <laughs> so I need a solenoid, but I have one in the truck, I got from pick and pull, but it probably is not going to work. But you never know. It's never let me down except for the alternator thing, which I had it parked and it just wouldn't start. <laughs> Going into the cab anyways, I have a new dash, well, kind of new dash. I went to pick and pull and pulled one out. Uh, I got a radio too that I wired up. Like I said, 128,000, if you could see that. Uh, the gas gauge doesn't work. It only goes up to halfway. <laughs> um, so it's, you can still read gas in there. This works too. There's that EGR solenoid that I need to put in, but I'm not gonna put it in now. <laughs> And let's just start it up real quick so you guys can hear it. And I'll take you guys for a drive too. Turn that off. Turn that off so I don't get coffee road it's direct. Um, I just put new oil on it too because I've drove it for 10,000 miles now. It's really reliable. I take it on like two hour trips for dirt bike riding. Got a three inch exhaust on it too. <laughs> New cat too. That was for my dad though, because he thought it was that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, it's got a new O2 sensor too, but that's from like five years ago when he was replacing all a bunch of shit. Couldn't figure it out. But I did, and I got pretty much a free truck out of it. Close this for a second. And you know, it runs really nice. I got brand new back tires too. <laughs> I 
We got a lot of brand new shit in here. Um, the seat's kind of messed up, and then I need those covers. I got them from pick and pull, so I just need to glue them on, and hopefully they work. <laughs> um, I'm gonna redo the seat, but yeah, it runs really nice. Um, the radio I put in here, it's awesome too. It has Bluetooth. Bluetooth works great. For how cheap this radio was from Walmart, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, still the same speakers in there, which actually put out a nice output For how old they are anyways the uh, roll down windows still work a little squeaky You know overall it's not a bad truck. Um, it's kind of noisy inside But once you're used to it, it's fine and all of these gauges work. It doesn't have AC which kind of sucks, but um I'm not really a big person, so I get cold really quickly. So it's not that bad. But anyways, I'll be back and take you guys for a little drive. All right. Hello everyone. This is my little drive that I'm doing with you guys. Sorry that it's nighttime. Um, I'm just doing this little drive so I can show you guys like it's really that noisy in here and whatnot. Also it's a good view of the lights. Um, they're not the best lights, but for 1987, I could see if they were like decent back then, maybe? I don't know. Um, haven't drove this truck for like two days now, so it's a first drive from there. Um, you guys will definitely hear that it's a little loud in here. Of course, you have all this plastic like moving around.
bolt keeps coming loose because I can't get a torque wrench in there. So I got to remove um, the brake block, which is just going to be a messy ass job because I really want to fix it the right way. You probably, got, you probably can hear it a little bit.